Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 27th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update, as we did just have a pretty strong X 2.9 solar flare. You'll see it on the bottom left-hand side there, big sunspot region that was responsible for all the X-class solar flares a couple weeks ago is now turning in as well, so active sun for sure looking at this activity right now slowing it down and all the events before the x-class solar flare large plasma ejection associated with it big coronal mass ejection observed on the coronagraphs having a look here 304 angstroms amazing images of our sun today as we have eight sunspot regions and about 30 sunspots on our sun. So stay tuned for tonight's update, give you more details and as well earthquake update. We did have a pretty sizable earthquake in the Tonga region, 6.6 .6 earthquake. And I'll give you more details of that. Yesterday there was a 6.3 earthquake, Papua New Guinea. And now we've got these active sunspot regions turning in slowing this imagery down for you for this amazing plasma ejection Bleh. with an x-class solar flare massive ejection thrown out into the abyss there was a, this was an earth facing event but the coronal mass ejection was not earth facing it may give us a glancing blow still waiting for details on the predicted space weather spiral so stay tuned for tonight's update again we'll give you a full world update earthquakes volcanoes space weather and your world weather forecast having a look at multi-spectrum you can see there are plasma filaments dancing on the surface ahead of this sunspot region multiple plasma filaments stretching across our sun right now you can see the elongated black lines on our sun. Those are coronal holes, or sorry, plasma filaments, and as well a coronal hole amongst eight sunspot regions. And a pretty big one turning in that just produced the X-class solar flare. So this is what I'm talking about here. Those are all plasma filaments in between the sunspot regions. Big coronal hole here turning away and as well coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. Pretty particular events happening on our sun. Ramping up with solar cycle 25, maximum cycle, and each solar cycle lasts about 11 years. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion, when you get the blues and the reds mixing there, Got to watch those sunspot regions. They can produce some pretty strong solar flares, as we've been observing over the past few weeks. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily, daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play today, staying aware and prepared with all of the latest sun events. So Sunspot Region 3664 is back, and we're going to be keeping an eye on that over this week for an Earth-facing week. Current space weather conditions are three strong radio blackout impacts expected, wide area blackout of high-frequency radio communications, and most of it was over Southeast Asia and Russia when the impact was made at 7 this morning UTC. Having a look there, there is the X 2.9 solar flare. The sun was pretty steady and quiet ahead of that. Geomagnetic activity slightly popping up to a KP3. And then showing here the highest frequency affected areas by this cosmic energy storm. This solar storm from the X-class solar flare right over India and Southeast Asia. Parts of Africa radiated. 
So while we were waking up, the sun was firing an X-class solar flare. And these are the regions that were the highest affected by this X-solar flash. Again, stay tuned for tonight's update, give you a full world update and as well more details about this X-class solar flare as it's coming in, waiting for coronal mass ejection, uh, prediction spirals. But you can see here, Lasco 3, big coronal mass ejection observed with this X-class solar flare. Boom. Amazing images here. And Venus and as well Mercury being observed in these images. Lasco 2 showing here since the 24th as I have not updated in a few days since I was traveling back. But now I'm back and here we are with another X-class solar flare and some amazing images brought to you by NASA. Soho, SDO, NOAA, and as well, The Do with daily events worldwide. Big coronal mass ejection being observed here. Just some amazing images. And there it is. Big plasma filament associated. Wow. That's a big one, folks. Heads up, stay safe and healthy. Prayers for humanity. And thank you so much to all of you for following along, wanting to stay aware and prepared. So you know what to do. Smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you for next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.